Earlier this year, I released a game on the job. I'm very happy with it. It's not finished. I mean, yeah, I got that blue text down there. I gotta finish it. That's fine. I'm working very hard on it. Don't you worry. Just did a big update recently. I could do more. It's just gonna be more. But, working on the game constantly, it gets a bit boring. I gotta work on something else. So, here's my solution. I'll just work on something else. Now, I like uh, Lovecraftian horror games. The, there's Call of Cthulhu, there's um, Arkham Horror, there's World of Horror. A lot of horror, that's fine. So I'm gonna try and make my own. I mean, try, I'll show you. I try, maybe succeeded. Um, it's not done at all. Am I going to release it early X as well? I don't want to. So, here's the alternative. I'm gonna bring you along for the journey. You're gonna see how the game develops, maybe get some input. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. It's gonna be fun. Do I have a name for it yet? No. Um, so we're just gonna call it Untitled Spooky Game. Sure, that works. Now, what is the game? You and a group of investigators are gonna go have an agency, and you're gonna take on these cases. We have to beat up these cults. We don't like them. They might do evil gods, they might do bad things. We don't know. You and your investigators are gonna be investigating. You're gonna be looking around, getting clues, all that stuff. Maybe you get into fights. Now, that's the interesting part. How are the fights gonna be? Uh, I, hmm, I tried to think of a lot of different ways. It could be a shooter kind of thing, I don't know. But the idea that interests me most is trying to make something that's a bit more like a, like a turn-based, grid-based shooter thingy. Might be fun, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Now, you're gonna be f fighting these cults, gonna beat them up, maybe get into a final encounter or confrontation, uh, whatever that might be, I don't know. Um, yeah, and yeah, and, and that's and that's the game. Seems pretty cool to me. Now, what's the point of giving you the sales pitch if I don't have anything to show for it? Well, luckily for you, join me. Let me boot it up. This is what I have so far. Um, it's very basic at the moment. It's mostly placeholders. Um, let me just show you character creation at the moment. Um, you start out by trying to make an agency of up to four people. You can make only one. Doesn't matter. Let's click Add New, and then you have a bunch of characters you can pick from. This is mostly just graphics and stuff. I do intend on having it so you can just load your own. I think it'd be super cool, but um, I'd have to wait and see. Um, they have some stats on the right. Um, what the numbers mean exactly, I'll figure it out. The You can enter your character's name, and they have a catchphrase, which would be like, if they get surprised or something, they said like, oh no, holy goodness gracious or something, or oh scallops. I don't know, it'd be quite fun. Uh, so let me call this man, uh, uh, oops, sorry, uh, let's do that. Uh, finalize, um, let's give, let's give Bobby a, a friend. Um, let's see who there is, um, let's get this, let's get this dude. Uh, I, I want to have a high strength, that's a good strength, that's pretty good stats too. Let's call him, uh, you know, what the shoot, I like that, uh, catchphrase is pretty good. Let's call this guy, um, Chuck, uh, he looks like a Chuck to me. I uh, do finalize, and I can name them, um, I don't know, let's call them the fellas. I think that's a good name, I click finalize. Now, this is, now it just take, took me to a combat scene. This is just an example for a combat. Um, as you can see, it's fully 3D. On the top left, you can see which characters are in combat now. To test, uh, to test the, the, to test how it works, I have it so it copies your main character the first character you made in the agency twice. So this is this isn't uh, my own character. This is an evil one. Uh, my own character is here, and you can see I can move. I can say what I want them to move, and then I can have them move, and then I can pick where they can attack. At the moment, they can only attack next to them or a bit further. Actually, that doesn't seem right. Huh. Um, and yeah, there's no targets. So then I can press space to end my turn, and then they moved. Since you can tell he has very short movement for some reason or other. And he has the same stats, so see, he can only move uh, very far. At the moment, the AI um, just tries to get to the closest person they can and then attack them if they're in range. Um, obviously, they're going to be able to have guns and stuff and probably have animations because be, it, it won't look that great without them. And um, yeah, that's kind of it for the moment. That's all there is implemented. Um, so, what are the next steps? Um, 
currently I wanna I need to expand make this combat system nicer it doesn't show me anything it doesn't give me uh, any nice menus uh, maybe it show not maybe I have to show the health and then I'd have to decide how to make the agency system work um well it can't just go straight into combat you have to do stuff outside of combat maybe upgrade your dudes maybe get more dudes um, I just want to introduce this uh, this game concept. I just want to introduce it to everyone, um, and I want to join. I want everyone to join in on this journey. Um, I think it'll be super cool, super neat, um, and I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, hit that subscribe. I got a Discord. You can click it. Um, it's mostly for on the job, but I'm it's also gonna have some stuff for this game as well because it's all part of the same family, I suppose. Thank you very much for watching yet again. I means a lot to me. Uh, hope you're interested in this game, um, and we'll see how it develops. So this is an unusual situation. Um, I had recorded this video about well, several months ago, I don't remember when. Uh, and there seems to be some updates with Unity. Uh, something about paying money or something? I don't know, I don't like to do that. So, this does leave me in a bit of a predicament. Either I go full steam ahead, just continue it, whatever, just whatever happens happens or the smart thing to do would be to just throw it out all out all gone start again on something like godot now here's the problem i don't know how to use godot so um yeah that's a bit of a sticky situation isn't it um i don't know i don't know what to do um dang